So you've just started a YouTube channel, right? You're a Minecraft Let's Player, you make little vlogs, you play Call of Duty, you try to do tips and tricks and stuff like that, you use PlayStation Share Factory or some other really really crappy game capture software because you can't afford to get an Elgato, and you're like, I want to get some people on my channel, but it's impossible to grow on YouTube, what do I do? Well the answer to that question is, use spam. No, 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 King No, what are you talking about, Noah? Why would you talk about spam, dude? You're gonna get so much hate on this video. Yes, yes, I know. When you talk about spam, a lot of people get butthurt. When I talk about spam, I'm not talking about people that just have auto DMs and, you know, whenever someone follows them or they follow some people and they follow them back and they don't do it all the time, they do it every now and then just to let people know that they exist and then, um, you know, they send the message and stuff like that and then they check out their channel. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that literally dedicate their lives to spamming people about their channel. Like, these type of people, they'll go and make social media accounts, they'll follow thousands of people, they'll get like 30,000 followers, and then they'll just start shouting out their YouTube channel, and before you know it, they end up getting like 400 subscribers, people watch their crappy videos, and that's what happens. And so today we're going to be talking about the social media spammer, the person who sets his whole organization, and they're just, you know, advertising their channel 24-7, these guys quit their jobs to go do YouTube and pursue their dream, man, because, you know, who wouldn't want to do YouTube and make videos and get money and stuff like that? Like, it sounds like the perfect job. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? But the way that these people are going about it, they're quitting their day jobs to do this shit. They only make, like, a couple hundred dollars a month, and I'm like, guys, why did you do that? I mean, I know, I know you guys have, like, 14,000 subscribers, but let's be real here, but if you didn't spam people all the time, then you guys would probably have somewhere around 100, probably. And honestly, that's true, because even though they do have 14,000 subscribers, due to the fact that they spam so many people, and they just, you know, have multiple accounts and stuff like that, they're always following and unfollowing people, sending them auto DMs, it's just a whole clusterfuck of, hey dude, check out my channel, check out my channel, check out my channel, and, and 5,000 times later, someone eventually makes a parody account about them, and they're just like, yo, you guys need to shut down all these ridiculous accounts, and so, eventually they did today, and I was like, oh, okay, well that's good, I mean, they're still gonna spam people to get their channel out there, and that's perfectly fine, but I just feel like it's a little bit annoying, and although they do make good quality content, it's just the fact that they have so many accounts spamming people, it's fucking ridiculous like I'm just gonna say it right now and the second social media spammer I'm gonna be talking about is the insta guy but the insta guy he posts all these funny pictures about Call of Duty and all these like memes and stuff like that then he decides to go make a channel but does he do funny commentary no does he you know do anything unique no what does he do well at first he posted random gameplays and eventually he branched out to doing commentaries basically just talking to his friends in a party just playing a game like it wasn't even a real commentary it was just like a guy sitting in a party with his friends sort of like i do with my friends just talking cracking jokes only had people like you know watch him and that's a great idea dude but it was kind of boring like i'm just gonna say that right now and the fact that he has like 470 subscribers it kind of just pissed me off a little bit due to the fact that he used his instagram account with 8,000 followers and his twitter account with 24,000 followers to just constantly shout himself out and the funniest part is he probably would have more subs if he knew how to put his youtube link in his profiles like jesus christ dude like for three months he didn't have his own youtube link in his social medias and he kept shouting them out like okay everyone go look up i don't know the link of my own YouTube channel, but I'm just gonna say to check it out anyway. So people actually did put in the effort to find his channel. They just went on the search engine and then they typed in, oh, okay, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna drop any names and stuff like that. But I'm just saying like, these spammers, man, I don't know what's up with these guys. Like, <sighs> I just go on such a big rant sometimes, but I just feel like spammers who are constantly posting comments, like, you know, such as, like this comment to kiss your crush, and subscribe to my channel to fuck your crush. And then 11 year olds who are new to this whole online YouTube scene, they just go to that comment and they're like, oh, well I wanna fuck my crush. So then they click on this guy's channel, they subscribe to the dude, and it's all dandy, this guy gets like 100 subscribers, can you believe this bullshit? And that's the sort of spam that just pisses me off, and I'm not sitting on the mic saying, oh well I deserve more subscribers, and oh if I spammed I would have like 10,000 subscribers, blah 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 blah. No man, I only started doing consistent videos in like December, and yes people do tell me that I deserve more subscribers, and then I go and look at other people's channels, and I'm like wow these guys are spamming, and then I notice they're making low quality ass content, and they have like over a thousand subscribers, and I'm over here sitting like you know a little under 500 like it's not really that big of a deal i'm grateful for the amount of subscribers that i have but i do get a little bit jealous when these guys with no talent who end up getting all these subscribers from fake giveaways and you know pressuring people to be active on their channel with shout outs and stuff like that 
and I'm not calling anyone out in this video I'm just basically talking about the small YouTube community in general like there are a lot of people doing this I'm not talking about anyone in particular I mean I was talking about one channel in particular at the beginning with the social media marketing and stuff like that but I don't know if this video seemed a little bit too ranty and a little bit too controversial I guess you could leave a dislike because I did kind of just go off and target some people but here's a positive thing about spam like I said before, it is very, very hard to grow on YouTube. And so due to this, very talented people on YouTube end up spamming, and their channels are actually good, so they actually gain publicity. But then there's also very untalented channels, and they end up gaining publicity. Well, not publicity. I mean, usually their subscribers are inactive, but it kind of just pisses me off how these YouTubers with no talent sort of just block the light of viewers from watching the talented people's content that don't shout their content out and stuff like that. And that's why I feel like spamming is just bad. And I feel like auto DMs aren't exactly spam, because they're following you but if you start following random people like constantly 24 7 then yeah it can be considered spam but I'm gonna leave it off here cuz I hate going on these rants man but sometimes I just gotta throw my opinion out there because I feel like I should let you guys know but thank you guys for watching peace out and have a fantastic day